Leith, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Eivor. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. Garland, is that right? That's right. You are Eivor, the infinite fighter, a forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day, the day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready well, it's good to see you breathing still. You are Vienna. And you are Eivor's sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush, losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, uh, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It's good to have you in this fight, Vienna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here or step on me. And by the look of you, I'd welcome either. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grantbridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me, and for Soma's loyalty. We fight for her.
Hidden. One on each side of the door. Move when you get the signal and not a moment before. Wakeman must know we're here. As he should. I will reason with him. He will reject my offer of peace. And our conversation will have a surprise ending. Bridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. <laughs> what are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, heathen. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those riches dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman, Wigman, let's try one final time! Quit Grantbridge! And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life! Ha! I command Grantbridge! I am master here! And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound! Let me give you some advice, old bear! The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. Best not to draw attention here. No! Danes of Grandebridgeshire! We take what is yours! I haven't seen Wigman since we breached the wall. Regroup at the longhouse. We'll surely find him there.
No sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Have something else you do. The sound of the horn. The sound of the horn means prosperity. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city.
Hoffman's fading fires. But tonight, tonight, we feast as gods! My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I've heard this before. That the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me. And the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task is near done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen. Leif and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. I'll do what I can, but you know your warriors far better than I do. Between you and me, my heart is clouded. I love these three as if we shared a womb. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel. And here, a gift. For retaking Grand Bridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. Soma, to understand your people well, I should better know you. How did you rise to the rank of Yalskona? My king Guthrum led the summer army through this land. When he marched into Wessex, I volunteered to defend the city. To encourage trade, so that our forces would be rich and strong if called upon. Guthrum agreed. So I grew the city up from very little, and I fell in love with her. It was a dagger to the heart to lose it and a bomb to have it back. If I can find your traitor, what will you do with them? They will die by my hand. No pain, no public humiliation. A traitor or no, the bastard is also one of my closest people, my friend, my family. Only I will bear the burden of causing their death. It will not muddy the minds of any other. That is enough. If I can find your traitor, what will you do with them? They will die by my hand. A traitor or no, the bu only I will bear the burden of... Why do you love Grandbridge so deeply? I was orphaned young, 
but old enough to remember it. I feel I've been reaching for a family all my life. Grantbridge is more than some silver boom. She's a place for me to build that family. For anyone who needs one. Wanderers, smugglers, and craftsmen alike. That's all. Good luck, Eivor. Thank you for doing this. The markets are up and running again. Soma doesn't waste time. The tunnel leads to the longhouse. The trader marked it with a yellow cross, then opened the way and let them in. The trader must have exited here with a few more, heading away towards the riverbank. Hello and welcome. This could be very useful. You have an eye for craftsmanship.
you would look very striking with this. An excellent purchase. This could help you in your travels. All done. I must take my leave. So long. I seek an alliance, one to benefit us both. This is your kingdom, you say? Indeed it is. Northex. And I am its first and reigning king, Equald. And as sovereign, I seek a keen ally to secure my strength. Kingdom. This island here. Yes, from shore to shore. My brothers and I came upon this unclaimed land some months ago and found it suited to our ambitions. Sadly, my brothers were drowned in a terrible squall soon after, along with our riches. 
There was an arm ring among them. To you, I offer this arm ring in exchange for my loyalty. Find the ring among the wreck, and you may call a king your friend. A good arm ring can be as important as blood to the heart. If I find it, I will let you know. Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Searching her now, breaking your oath, that is what will bring us ill luck. Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter and faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me. Naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me. Humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. And Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another, tightly. I know I can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others, Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna, well, Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I'm eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, eh?